Hey friends, tonight I am hanging out at Disney Springs. I wanted to come down and try some of the new food offerings and eat somewhere I've never eaten before, but also try some of the drink offerings, including the Bacon of Doom from the Hangar Bar. So, let's go do this. I am so happy I was able to get my hat back. Can you believe this bad boy fell down the shaft at the Tower of Terror? Like this was at the bottom of the elevator shaft at the Tower of Terror. How crazy is that? And then it made its way over here to Disney Springs and so cool that they got it for me. That was the main reason for my visit down to Disney Springs today, but when I heard the Bacon of Doom was back, I was like, I gotta get out there and try that. I mean, bacon, chocolate, and bourbon mixed together, that is the perfect combination. And then also I was like, you know what? I've never eaten at the Lux Burger. So today, I'm on a mission. Because we're gonna be drinking a little bit later on, I think I might as well start off and try Deluxe Burger for the first time. This is one of those places that I have not been to yet. And of course, I wanna try to eat everywhere that Disney offers. So uh, today, we're gonna mark this off the bucket list. Other than the Bacon of Doom, there are some other really cool offerings, some Pride offerings because it is Pride Month. And then also, I might want to do a little shopping or two at the uh, World of Disney. I like how I said shopping or two because I might buy something, I might buy two things, who knows. But it's just going to be a fun day at the Springs and I'm just excited to share it with you. I've never even been inside this building, but this is really cool. Right now they still have things kind of spread out for social distancing and not too many tables that you can eat inside. So we're gonna see if we can get a table to eat inside. I've already placed my order via the mobile ordering app. And uh, yeah, we'll just see. I think the seating is first come first serve. I've heard from a lot of people that Deluxe Burger is a very good place to get a burger and I mean it's in the name and uh, they also have some limited time offerings, different burgers and milkshakes that they actually like offer up seasonally so whatever the seasonal offering is that's what I'm going to go with. Holy moly look at this seating area, what is this chair? Oh, I definitely have to sit here, I thought this was a prop at first but this is somewhere I can sit down and eat my burger? <laughs> This is so fancy. I feel like I'm king of the castle. King of the castle. <laughs> and here it is. Take a look at that. The double bacon stacker. This looks so good. You got bacon, two patties, lettuce, tomato, pickles, and then the french fries over here. I like these french fries. These look like hand cut french fries, and I'm all about that. I'm very excited to try this burger. The bun already feels like such a perfect bun. I think that has a lot to do with a great burger because it's got to be able to stay together. I hate when buns fall apart and this looks solid. So here we go. Oh yeah, that is a solid burger. Very delicious, very good. And I like how they have it like in this little burger wrap so you don't end up actually making a mess. I'm so happy I tried this. Now I think this might be my spot for burgers whenever I come down here. I'm always a sucker for places that offer seasonal burgers. Or not seasonal, but just seasonal items. So now I'm gonna add this to my, my thing that I gotta constantly check. I gotta see what the new seasonal burger is. And it's a good burger. I really like the decor in here. Everything from these mason jarred lights to these gentle sea cows over here enjoying a milkshake and they're obviously in love. Well, that was a delightfully delicious burger. I'm so happy now that we actually tried this place out because I'll probably come back. I'll definitely get another burger. I would like to try one of their like regular like favorite burgers, like ones that are on the menu all year round. Uh, that one just was like, you know, double burger, bacon, and the works, but I want to try like one of their signature burgers. I bet you that would be really, really good. But holy moly, I don't think I've ever seen the springs like this before. From this point of view, this is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Like I've never been this far back into like Deluxe Burger and this just looks so beautiful. Now I'm gonna move along and I'm gonna show you one of the drinks I was talking about. Not the Bacon of Doom, that's gonna be a little bit later on. But right now, I'm gonna show you guys a beer flight. Well, I think it's the Pride Beer Flight and it's down at City Works. And I'm excited, I mean, I love beer flights and this is only available for the month of June because it's Pride Month. And I'm happy I'm coming out to get this because this has been on, my, uh, been on my calendar for a while. 
and we have made it to City Works Eatery and Poor House. This is probably the best place for a variety of beer and they have a pretty amazing happy hour. I did a video where I went over all the happy hours here at Disney Springs. So I'll put the, that video link in the description below if you want to check it out because you can definitely save a lot of money. I think I might sit outside because it's a beautiful day and I can hear the live music from the House of Blues. So it's kind of like I'm a win-win situation. And take a look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? It's like a little rainbow beer flight. And I'm just so excited to try it. Here's all the different beers that are included in the flight itself. And it's all from local LGBTQ owned and operated supporting breweries. And this is gonna be good. I have very high expectations. I think I'll start off with the rainbow colored glasses. Look at this. I don't know if this is gonna be a sour or a fruit beer. We'll find out. Ooh, that is good. Oh, I like that. Now I might jump right on over to either the Hey Heffa. Oh, yes. I think I'm going to try the Hey Heffa. And this is from Orlando itself. <laughs> I love Heffas. Oh, that one might be my favorite. I haven't tried the other two, but this is really good. Oh, wow. I'm a little bit weary of the Beach Hippie IPA, so I'll save that one for last. This one is gonna be the love is love. Love is all you need. <laughs> oh. oh, that's good too. A lot of fruit, a lot of sour beers, I like it. It's a good mixture. And now, last but not least, the Beach Hippie IPA from Deland, Florida. I like the land, Florida. A friend of mine lives out that way. Oh, that is good too. Wow. Surprisingly very good. If I was to say anything, I'd say the Hey Hef was number one and this is number two. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I'm not a big IPA drinker, but this is delicious. I think that's why I love beer fights so much is you just get to have so many different experiences with just one drink. The downside of it is if there's a beer that you end up don't liking, it kind of sits there or you force yourself to drink it. So it's got goods and it's got bads, but no matter what, I'll probably always go with a beer flight over a single beer. Well, that was nice. I really did enjoy the flight itself. The only thing is, is the uh, rainbow glasses, which was basically a rainbow sherbet like beer. I really, you know, the first sip I liked it, but then the tart hit, and it's a very tarty beer. So it was really hard. And like I said, that's what you get with the uh, flights. Sometimes they're winners, sometimes they're losers, uh, but it all depends on what you like in a beer. And uh, yeah, I couldn't finish them all. Couldn't finish the rainbow one, too tarty. I love all the nighttime activities for Disney Springs. Look at this. Now I think it's time we head on over and get to the hangar bar so we can get the bacon of doom. I am so excited. And technically this is a dessert, kind of an entree or a dessert, maybe an appetizer and a drink all in one. So we're gonna keep in our rotation and I feel really good about that. Right here it is. Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. This is one of my favorite places to come, especially for the holidays. It has such an amazing overlay. Decided to sit outside because it's still so beautiful out. And we got a beautiful view actually. And you can see all of Disney Springs, like the waterfront, and it's gorgeous. Look at this. I love it. Disney Springs is so amazing. You can also see some of the amphi cars out there. I see one all the way down there by the House of Blues, but I just love sitting out here. And I'm joined up with my friends, Mike and Beth, Hi. Villains and Vice, and they're gonna tackle the Bacon of Doom with me. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm super excited. I know, right? Bacon it's and it's bacon yeah. and bourbon. Oh, is it, yeah, is it bourbon? I think it's it's bourbon. whiskey. Oh, is it whiskey? You would know. You got the you got the smarts. <laughs> you can get a margarita drink or a whiskey drink. So oh fine. yeah, we don't want the margarita. That's for another day. That's another day or the second. <laughs> yeah. 
the bacon is dipped in ganache or ganachery <laughs> and chipotle but you can get the bacon on its own or you can get it with the drink so if you get it with the drink it's called the bacon of doom if you get just the bacon it's the temple of bacon of course we gotta get the drink and Beth was right. I knew she knew because she does her homework. The uh, drink that comes with it is a trusty revolver and it's served with bullet rye whiskey and then orange liqueur and then the cherries. And that's the way we went. You can also get the snake bite margarita, which I'm sure that kind of pairs good with the uh, chipotle. But I think the bacon and chocolate is probably best with whiskey. The best thing though is this is a smoked drink and they smoke everything. They smoke the bacon, the chocolate. It's kind of like a show. So be prepared. It does cost $32, but it is a drink to share. So it's enough for two people. And if you kind of break that in half, it's not a bad deal. Plus bacon. Yeah, plus bacon. You're getting like an appetizer, a dessert, and uh, a nice little whiskey drink. <laughs> oh, and here it is. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Much too good. <laughs> Look at it, it's still smoking on top. Wow. I love it. That was super awesome. Oh wow, and they give you a lot of bacon too. Like I'm really shocked. And the way they present this is phenomenal. So now we're gonna try the drink first. Cheers. Cheers. This is gonna be really good. I smell it from here. Yeah. Oh, that is good. It tastes very orange. Yeah, you can definitely taste that orange liqueur in there. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna dip my bacon in this. I don't think we're supposed to do that, but I'm gonna do it. Here is the bacon itself too. They give you six pieces. And you can see the chocolate. And then, is that like bacon bits on the outside? Yeah, there's bacon bits. Yeah. Bacon on bacon. It doesn't say anything, but it looks like there's salt too. So it's salt, salt. chocolate. Ooh, and chipotle, right? Yeah. Is that what they said? Yeah, that's what the little swizzle is. Like. Oh. Chipotle ganache. So I think I'm going to try it the way it is now, and then I'm going to dip it in my drink. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little kind of like wondering how they were standing up. I thought they were like on a holder or something like that, but I think it's just the melted chocolate holding it. So I'm gonna have to pull it off. I thought it was like something holding up like a clothespin or something. They are actually. Oh, well, so, yeah. yep, rip off your chocolate. Or wait, I'll hold, I'll hold it down so you can rip yours off. Oh no. There it goes. Oh, it actually comes out pretty easily. Maybe you have to push it, not pull it. So I'm gonna try to push it. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. <laughs> so you gotta push, not pull. So we're gonna try it like this first. That is so good. You can taste the bacon, you can taste the smokiness. The chocolate is good and you can even taste the uh, the salt on there. So it's, it's, it's literally probably some of the best bacon I've ever had. Like I really feel that way. I am gonna dip it in the drink though, like I said, <laughs> just to get that experience. Is it weird? I don't know if it's weird or if it's just gonna enhance the experience, but. Enhanced? Enhanced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it wasn't for everybody, but I kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe I might just stick to it just the way it is, but I had to give it a go. <laughs> I would highly suggest this bacon, even if you don't want to get the drink. If you want to get just a temple of bacon and come and try the bacon, it's worth it. It's worth it on its own. I think it's uh, $16 for the bacon alone. So like, I mean, at that point, you pay just another half and you get two drinks. I guess that's a really good deal if you think about it. But like, honestly, I would get the bacon on its own. I'm gonna ask though, maybe the temple of uh, bacon has more bacon to it. As we were sitting here enjoying our bacon and our whiskey, it's starting to get a little dark out. I think we're gonna move along, but it was just so beautiful sitting by the water here. Since we're in this area here, I think we're gonna swing down to Disney style. I wanna see if they have any new t-shirts or cool things that we can buy, and then hop on over to the Bamboo Lounge, which is the new bar inside Splitsville. Here it is, Disney style. Now, I always say this, this store has things that you would not find inside the world of Disney. So I always like to come in here and just see what they got. Sometimes I find some amazing clothing items. 
This store also has a wonderful backdrop, backdrop, a backdrop of Cinderella Castle. So in case you don't come to the parks, you can come here and get a really nice selfie without actually uh, paying for a theme park ticket. <laughs> oh wow, but take a look at this shirt. Oh my lord, I am obsessed. This is really awesome. I don't think I've seen this before. Holy moly, I might want to get one. I mean, it's kind of like the shirt that I'm wearing right now, but with Mickey and Minnie on it. $59.99. What do you guys think? It really is. It's like the shirt that I'm wearing right now. I love it. Oh, I don't know if I want to buy it now, though. Or should I wait? I don't know. Oh, decisions. There is going to be a decision made. You know, now the parts don't require fully vaccinated guests to wear a mask. And it looks like they switched to buy one, get one freeze on all the masks. Isn't that funny? What are we going to do with our mask? I have tons of masks. I think I'll keep them forever or I will make a quilt. I think I'm gonna come back and get this shirt. I don't wanna take it around with me right now. You ever feel like when you buy something you don't wanna carry it around the parks with you? Luckily I live here so I can always come back, but some things you have to get immediately because they can get sold out. I don't think that shirt will sell out. I think I can definitely get it at a more convenient time. Now we're moving along and heading over to Splitsville for the Bamboo Lounge, which is the new bar that opened up. And I haven't been here yet. I used to actually hang outside. This is where they had the live music before. And I think it's gonna be interesting. I love nightlife atmosphere at Disney Springs. I know you can't hear me too well, but it is a good time here. Right back here, or next to Everglades, is the new bar, the Bamboo Lounge. And I think they have outdoor seating and then indoor seating. So we'll see what it's like. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look really bamboo-ish, if that's even a word. Like, I don't know what to say. It kind of just looks like a regular bar. But maybe once we get into the drinks, maybe they're like bamboo-themed drinks. Take a look at the menu. I see they have a bamboo flight, and it looks like it's a combination of vacation classics. A zombie, a tiki punch, and a pina colada. That sounds really interesting. And then they have a lot of other really nifty drinks. I can see a little bamboo-ish in the menu though. I mean, they have a bamboo flight. So actually right now they're doing a pride flight here but with frozen drinks. So I think I'm gonna have to get it. I mean, when I heard that I was like, oh wow, it's not on the menu anywhere. I don't think there's any advertisements, but my friend Mike pulled it up, you know, they know everything. They, they literally, they know everything. And uh, yeah, so I got all the information. He's got it on his phone. Look at how pretty that looks. It comes with uh, rum runners. Two of them have Big Wave Dave on it. The other one has a pina colada and whipped cream and a rainbow. So I'm all in, I'm gonna try this. Look at this, here it comes. Holy fancy. <laughs> wow. That is absolutely stunning. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> I love it, it's so cute. This is definitely the like brightest drink I think I've ever had. Like it's so full of color and it's like it's eye-catching. Like it really is. I thought the bacon of Doom was eye-catching, but this is really eye-catching. And then Beth got a painkiller. Look at it. It's a little pineapple glass. These drinks are really, I, I'm shocked. When I first walked in, and you said the same thing, didn't feel like very bamboo-ish, but I'm impressed with the presentation. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna dive in to my first one here. Technically, these are two the same, so if you guys want this one, you could. Oh, that's right, Yeah, so this one's the Big Wave Dave, and then the Rum Runner, and I'm excited to try it. That is so good. Holy moly. And then you get your little Sour Patch Rainbow. <laughs> this is delicious. This is probably one of the most refreshing drinks I've ever had. And it has such a great taste. Because I think the mixture between the Big Dave and the Rum Runner, and then the whipped cream, and then also the Sour Patch Rainbow that I stuck in there, it just all combines so good, yeah. There's just something about it. So good. Now I'm going to try this one though. I'm not a big pina colada fan, so I don't have high expectations. But... That's good too. Wow. I like the other one better though. But this is still, it's still very good. 
the best thing about these drinks is when you get down to the bottom, you get all that whipped cream, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> Since we're sitting here, I think I'm gonna actually get something to eat too because I wanna keep in that rotation. I would have went to Everglades, but I feel like uh, there's a little bit of a long line, so I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do that today. On the menu here though, I seen they had a cone of french fries, and that kind of piqued my interest, a cone of fries. And it is literally a cone of french fries. Also, this kind of matches your dress. <laughs> when you look at it from this angle, very cool. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what that is though. It looks like some kind of ranch. Huh. I do like crinkle cut. <laughs> the way they have the fries packed in this cone, it's kind of like Jumanji. I don't want to pull a fry off because I feel like they're all going to tumble down. But I'm going to be as casual as possible. I'll start from the top because, I mean, if I take this one, I'll probably lose a little bit here. Oh, oh look at it. Anybody like some chai dip? <laughs> and can we just rewind? I'm pretty sure I was calling that Jumanji when I meant Jenga. <laughs> I really, so you guys are like Jumanji. <laughs> I don't get the reference. <laughs> Wow, I have to say the bamboo bar was a really good experience. I wasn't impressed when I first walked in, but everything was like, wow, the crinkle cut fries were amazing, the drinks were really cool, and I liked all the different glasses, and the pride float was the bomb. So, very cool. I'm, I think I'll definitely stop back to the bamboo bar. I think it might be a cool spot to hang out and visit in the future. And with that, I think, we are done here. Such a fun night at Disney Springs. We started real early in the day. I think I got here around five o'clock. It's just about 11 o'clock now, and uh, all of Disney Springs is closed down. We, we got to hang out and do some amazing drinks around Disney Springs. The Bacon of Doom was fantastic, but honestly, probably my favorite thing was the pride float at the bamboo bar, and that was totally unexpected. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.